So are you in love with the Candyland theme? You like the faux sweet treats and candy and gingerbread? And have you tried to do a display but just wanted a little more over the top? Well, today's video, we're not messing around. You might see a very simple decor in my living room, but the dining room is gonna be over the top. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, stylish, and creative life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old next year. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. What kind of videos would you like to see me do in 2021? So, I think I've talked about it before that I can't eat sweets. And so I've been collecting sweets for a long time. Now, how this whole thing started, really got started, was back when my granddaughters were small and they used to come over at Christmas and I wanted to give them a display of sweet treats. One that would be so magical, so amazing. And by the way, I wanna give a shout out to my granddaughters, hi girls. <laughs> um, that would be so amazing, it would just like knock their socks off. So we're not talking candy like this. We're talking candy like this. I'm gonna be doing, in just a second, I'm gonna be taking my plain table and I'm gonna show you how I decorate it in the Candyland theme from the chandelier down to the table, step by step. So you can create a fabulous uh, Christmas Candyland uh, buffet. That's what I use it for. I use it for all my sweet treats, real ones too, when I entertain. So without further ado, I'm so excited. Here is my collection of 30 to 35, 40 years and how I do my over the top Candyland theme in my dining room. I hope you would get inspired and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my dining room and my soon to be Candyland Christmas display. I'm gonna take you step by step on how I put together the most fabulous over the top display of sweets and candy and cupcakes and cookies and pies. It's amazing. But I want to show you what I start with here. So let's take a look up front. So on top here, I have a chandelier with a uh, burlap cord cover. And I've just wired together these two candy canes with some greenery and I've used pipe cleaners to attach it to my chain, my chandelier chain. And then I added one of these little wooden gingerbread people that I made. And I did this on the chandelier. So on each little cup that holds the candle, I put, they're almost like peppermint icicles on each side. So I did it on this side and on this side, and then a candy peppermint on each little bowl. This might not be the most modern chandelier, but I really like it for the functionality. It gives me light, of course, on top. And then this piece right here is a spotlight that comes down to the table. Now, I know you've seen my French menu sign probably many times. And I use this as a backdrop because I don't know if you can tell, but this is all mirror. This is all mirror over here. And I would be filming myself <laughs> if I didn't put that there. But I use this at Christmas time to give a touch of black and white. I love the chalkboard look. I love this menu. I got it at Home Goods. I think it was on sale for $20 and I usually have it hanging on the wall but during Christmas I put it here as a backdrop for my table that I'm about to do for you and then I usually do a red um, velvet tablecloth but this year I'm going a little more casual and rustic so I decided to do a black and white check one okay so these are the first two containers I put on my table 
Let's take a look. This is, by the way, this whole table is going to be over the top. So on the on my right side here, I have glass containers that have big giant suckers, candies, candy canes as a base. And then like a flower arrangement, I put in my lollipops, my gingerbread guy, just like I have up there, some more gingerbread, and then a little cupcake. It's like a floral display. <laughs> now on the other side of candy canes, candy suckers, gingerbread, gumdrops. This really grounds the table and gives the backdrop I need, a dramatic backdrop for my table. Okay, let me put the next piece on and I'll show you how I build this display. I put on the third piece. It is a plate stand. I don't know if you can see the plate one, two, and three. And by the way, I have to get one more of these candy cane plates to put here. But it's just when you could put white plates, you could put whatever color you want. And at the top, I just hooked on this little gingerbread felt piece. Now I'll go through the shelves one by one. So this cake here was a faux cake. Um, but it had strawberries and I just put these little peppermints on top and the little gingerbread men like they're part of the cake. I always do the cake on top. And then down below, these pink cakes in the back from Walmart. And I think these little cupcakes were too. And then this came from Hobby Lobby when they used to sell the faux cupcakes. And then down one more. Now on this one, I have the same cakes and cupcakes, but I have these, they look so real. Look at these. Little designer cakes. And of course I added some greens and some peppermint candies on either side. We're not done yet. <laughs> I told you this is gonna be over the top, crazy. But you can see now how these tall arrangements tie in to the chandelier icicle peppermints. See how it kind of just from the very top connects this whole scene and flows down. Let's add our cupcakes next. Okay, I just added my cupcakes. Let's take a look. They're in the little on the little box here and over here. These were gift boxes I thought were so cute. And what I like about displaying my cupcakes like this is they're laying flat. Whereas if you have a big um, platter or a big dish or something, a lot of times, you know, they are falling into each other. Let's look at this one first here. Now on top, I have these really cute little um, peppermint trees that come from Walmart. They're 98 cents. And then some more of these designer cakes. And then down below, I use the same cupcake paper, the red and white stripe with the green trim. And look at my beautiful little cupcakes. If you saw my through the garden gate <laughs> one, these are the two cupcakes I bought. They're ornaments, I just cut the top off. See how cute those are, all fake. If you guys know me, you know I can't have sugar, so I surround myself, and there's no calories in these. So here I have another little tree and some more of these very realistic little designer cakes and more of my cupcakes. Are we done? No, we're not done. We still have to put the cookies out. All right, I added my cookies and my little candy train. This little train is so cute. I just got their four little ornaments. I should probably take the silver tops off of them, but they go around, they have little peppermint wheels and they go around the cookie plate. These are all faux cookies. 
Some of these look like dark chocolate. Some look more like gingerbread or just look at these. These were in a garland I cut off. And these adorable little animal. Look at that. Looks like a cookie. I have a little pig. I have a cat, giraffe. And those are my cookies. If you wonder how I started this madness, <laughs> it was because of my granddaughters. I really wanted to come up with um, a magical display of sweet treats. So you can see from the top of the ceiling, through my chandelier, to my big candy displays, and my plate stand, and my cupcakes. Now I want to show you one last thing. You don't need a cake stand. This is actually sitting on what I think is a candle holder. So if you don't have one, you don't need it. You can put any plate. You can put a white plate up there, a clear plate, or whatever you'd like. All this fake cookies right here would be real cookies if I was hosting. And the other place I would put real treats is right here on either side. But this, like I said, because of my granddaughters, became my sweet treat Candyland buffet. And I think it's really cute. I hope it inspires you. And stay tuned for that faux gingerbread one and another one where I try it in my hand at making some sweet treats. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspired and we'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays to all.